McCornette, um, the, I remember Boogeyman was like basically – uh, it was one of his debuts and he had to chase someone through the audience that took off. It was either like Aaron Stevens or someone. And, and he had to go through uh, part of the audience. And that part of the audience was the, um, was the, uh, was the training class, the amateur training class. And they're supposed to be there as part of the audience watching. And they're supposed to be like, horrified and jump back um, as not to do it to the real fans. And I guess um, Santino didn't put it over enough. Um, and from what I understand, it's because his daughter was right there and, and he didn't want his daughter to get super scared or something to that effect. So I guess he didn't, he didn't intentionally do it to, to, you know, screw over boogeyman or to make the, the stuff not look good. But Cornette was really hot about him not putting it over to the extent as it should have been put over. Um, and I get it. Cornette is very passionate about what he does. And uh, I, you know, I love him for that. Um, but, it lit a fire under Cornette's ass. And I just remember it was right outside the gorilla position. Um, there's a room before the gorilla position. Then we were in the office and they were right outside that door. And, and Cornette was just lacing into him. Bah, 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 and he just smacked the shit at him, smacked the shit out. And we were, <laughs> we were just like sitting there like, Holy shit. He just, and, and I'll tell you, Santino just ate it and just looked at him, just ate it. And just was like, I was like, man, I see he's got some restraint. Uh, because I mean, Santino could have just very easily snapped him in two, but uh, but Jim Cornette wouldn't have cared because that's Jim Cornette.